Welcome back to Popo's Woodworks. Today's project, we're going to be building a bed for my five-year-old daughter. It's, uh, I guess for lack of better terms, it's going to be like a mini loft bed. So we want it off the ground where she can build a fort or something or put toys up under it. But we don't want it so high that where if she falls out that it's going to hurt her. So basically my wife found a picture of this bed. I think it was on Wayfair. And I'll throw it up right here. And I was looking at the picture. So... We're going to go ahead and try to build this thing just by going off of that picture. But I went to Lowe's. I think I spent hardware and everything. I want to say it's about 100 bucks on materials. And if we do build this, it's going to be a whole lot stronger than probably, no offense, Wayfair, than probably what you're getting on Wayfair with that fake wood. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and get this thing done. Oh, it's going to be a twin bed, by the way, if I didn't mention that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get cutting the lumber. All right, here's the lumber that I bought. I bought 11 two by four by eight foot studs. Then I bought three two by six by eight foot. And then two four by four posts untreated this eight foot long. And hopefully that'll be enough. And then over here, I've already got some 220 grip, but I got 120, I had to buy some of that. I was out of that. Two and a half inch decking screws, a long shank T25 Torx bit for the decking screws and four four inch carriage bolts with washers and nuts and i'm gonna explain what i'm gonna be doing with this because you know it's gonna be a mini loft bed about 43 inches tall that ain't gonna fit through a normal house door so i'm gonna try to rig up a way that i can take the poles or the the legs rather off and get it in and out of the door if you need to move it and i'll explain later why i bought these anyway let me get the wood up and get to cutting it and figure out what size I'm all right so i went ahead and cut all the pieces down as you can see here's my fancy computer program sketch up yeah so i just draw it out to give me a visual of what i'm doing these two here are going to be two by fours and of course there's two on the sides that you can't see this one here is a two by six and of course there's one on each side that's so that's the side rails or the bed frame itself i cut all the long pieces down to 75 inches let me get my tape measure here Pardon my camera skills for a second. So I cut those down to 75 inches. All right, because I'd rather this be a little bit big than too small for the mattress. And then the short pieces, I cut all them down to 39 inches, including the two by six. As you can see, it's 39 inches as well. So that's the that's gonna be the sizes of all of this. Now what I'm gonna do to help from doing a lot of sanding is I'm gonna run them through my planer. I just put new blades in it, so hopefully it'll do pretty good. So I'm gonna run all these through the planer. And then after that, we'll go ahead and cut down the four by four posts to size, which they're, they're gonna be, as you can see here, I'm gonna make them 43 inches tall. Now, what I was talking about them lag bolts, if you put all this together, you'll never get it in and out of a bedroom. And pretty much you'll have to build it, assemble it as you build it here, take it all apart, and then redo it when you get in the house. So what I'm gonna do, is right here i'm gonna cut that four by four in half and i'm gonna make like a joint to where when i go to put it back together i can set it in on that joint run that leg bolt through here and it's going to hold that bed frame or it's going to hold them pieces together tight at least that's what i'm thinking so and we'll worry about the ladder and stuff later too and me looking at this which i always include my arrows as you can see i'm gonna have to cut off two this one to be fine but Two of the, the supports here, I'm gonna have to cut them because I cut them 75, thinking they're gonna go here, but I'm gonna have to cut out for that ladder. So, but it's okay. We'll figure it out when we get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to get to planting all these, get these out of my way, and then we'll get to doing the legs. For the four by fours to be 43 inches tall, that seemed like it was not gonna leave enough room for the bottom for her to be able to play under. So the four by four post was eight foot long. I just cut them in half at 48 inches. So that's what I ended up with. That way you actually got no waste on it. Now that I've got all that cut, I'm gonna run it on through the planer and get them smoothed out. Thing plain as you can see 
it really makes uh, construction grade lumber look really good. I mean, that's, I, I'm pleased with it. Planers are kind of expensive, but I swear when it comes to sand like this, I don't even have to sand it now. I mean, it's nice and smooth, plus I got new blades in it. But anyway, now I'm gonna take a quarter inch round over bit and I'm gonna route all the edges here and make them smooth so they're not so sharp. So let me go ahead and get that done. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take all the boards and I'm gonna do pocket holes in them. As you can see, I got my pocket hole jig. And this is two by fours. So I'm got it set if you have this or if you don't and you're gonna get one. I got it set at an inch and a half here. And then along the edge, it tells you to set the drill bit stopper, which is right here. You set that down and put it where it says an inch and a half too. That way it'll match up. But you have to change your pocket holes for the thickness of your wood. So we're gonna go ahead and pocket hole the ends of every one of these boards. Okay, so what I did is I laid my post up here on my workbench, and of course I used Type Bond 3, but I did the pocket holes. I screwed this in with the glue, and then I glued this one, screwed this in, but the, to get the gap right, I, this is just sitting here. So I just used a two by four right here to make sure I got my gap just right so it'll match when I go to do the other side. So now I will rearrange my workbench, put the post on the other end, and just keep on moving with it. All right, for the side rail where the actual mattress is gonna sit, I got another scrap piece of wood, which is five and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna use that to get my space. And that way it looks a little bit different from the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in and get- I have already moving. said this in a previous clip, but I don't remember. So if I did, you're gonna hear it again. But anyway, this, I bought this Dewalt long Torx bits, T25. And then of course I bought Number 10, two and a half inch wood screws or decking screws. The reason I did that is because number one, the Craig, Craig screws are like $22 for $250 or $23, give or take, they're $9.99. And the other one is, let me get one of these out. These do so much better than them square heads because I'll tell you, I love using Craig products, but their piece that goes into the drill, that little square tip, I, I ring them things off like it ain't nothing. Usually if I was gonna do a bed like this, I'd probably have to buy three packs of those bits just to get through it where it always rings them off and the wood screws do the same thing. So therefore, using that with those, I'd have no more issue. Plus I glue it anyway, so the glue's gonna dry harder than the wood. They just basically there to keep them there until the glue dries, but anyway, that's what I was talking about why I did those two. Craig pocket holes is awesome, or a pocket hole jig is awesome, but Craig, their bit system sucks. My All opinion. right, you see those, let's see if I can zoom in, see those scraps I had left over from the two by fours? All right, so what I'm gonna do, here's one of them. I'm gonna use this for the, the ladder rung. All right, the two strips that go across the top of the other side, I've got this one side, this will be the back side complete. So I'm gonna measure from here to here which is 54 and an eighth. So my other two side rails, which are right here, are the ones that's gonna be on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down. Remember I cut them too long? So I'm gonna cut them down to that size and then we're gonna put, take the other two posts and put it all together. And then we'll go ahead and form for the ladder. So I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it'll make sense when I get to putting it together. All right. So what I'm gonna do is we got those attached and what we're gonna do is we actually decided to flip the bed. So put the ladder on the other end because the wall we're gonna put it on 
The TV's mounted on that wall, that way when her head's here, she'll have a better line of sight for the TV. So, as you can see right here, we don't have the other post attached, plus I got the glue drying, so I just got a scrap piece of wood, and I'm gonna attach this to keep these from wobbling when we stand it up, because ultimately, we're gonna have to flip this over and put a two by four on this side. So I'm just using some inch and a quarter screws, and it ain't gotta be pretty, but this is gonna be hidden anyway. And so I'm just gonna screw these in just to try to help balance this out so they don't, they don't dance around and pull loose from the other end. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and we'll get it flipped over and then I'll show you what I'm talking right. about. So if she'll bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see. I guess where I screwed up will deviate it from the plans. I wanted this flush on the edges, which I still got a little glue on it. But what I found out is they had it inset a little bit, but I, I like the flush look. So what I found out was over here, when I was getting ready to put this up for the ladder rung, I realized that I've got nowhere to hook the hook. In other words, if the post is here and I hook these here, I'm gonna have to angle the steps for the ladder and that's gonna look like crap. So what I'm gonna do to correct that is I made some marks. I'm just gonna cut notches for these three boards here. I'm gonna cut notches out of this two by four so it'll set in and set flush and it'll still give me somewhere to hook the, hook the ladder rung on the back side. So I've already, I don't know if you can see it, but I've already got them marked. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these to my bandsaw and I'm gonna cut out the thickness of these boards here and try to fix my screw up. So let me get that cut. All right, so I got that on. And like I said, basically all I did was notch that out. I ended up using a jigsaw. And then I went ahead and just screwed them from the inside because you're not gonna see them. They're gonna be on the inside of the bed. And uh, so we got that now. Hopefully that'll fix my error. But now we'll go ahead and finish assembling the rest of it. All right, so we got everything stained and I got all the rest of the pieces, as you can see. Whoops, look at here, forgot to do that. But anyway, so other than that spot, everything else is stained. So what we're gonna do is, I was gonna cut the post to where I could get it in the house, but the more I think about it, I want them solid. I wanna make sure they're secure. So we're gonna take the two big halves, we're gonna carry that in, and then we're just gonna assemble the thing inside the bedroom. But let me get this spot that we missed, and then we'll go assemble this thing. All right, so as you can see right here, I just ripped a two by four in half at 75 inches long and glued it and screwed it all the way in. And then I cut some more two by fours at 39 inches and just set this on top of that. That's what's gonna hold the bed. But we had planned on putting a one of our regular mattress on it. And then the wife said she wanted a foam mattress. So therefore I'm gonna have to make this a platform bed. So what I did is went to Lowe's and got OSB because I think this four bait sheet is like $7 and I got them to cut it down to the size of the bed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of the two by fours and then get the mattress, cut it open and let it start swelling up. Here's what it looks like with the OSB on there just so you, in case you're wondering or whatever. So, Basically, the reason I'm going to do this is that way the foam mattress, when you're laying on it, doesn't fall down or push through the cracks of the 2x4 uh, studs in there, so it gives it a solid base. <sighs> so anyway, I'm getting a little bit tired. I'm going to go get that mattress, drag it in here, and put it on the bed. And all right, there's the mattress on it. It's still got a little bit more swelling to do. I think it's a 8-inch thick foam mattress. Actually, I got it at Big Lot, so it's really not that bad price. But let me go over this with you. Here's another error I forgot to tell you about. The thickness of this 4x4, my phone's fixing to die, go to low power mode here. Anyway, thickness of this 4x4, I cut these side rails down to 39 inches. When I put this together, it actually made it from rail to rail 43 inches, which is too wide. So what I had to do is I had to go back, and I think I knocked off 4 inches off the side rails, and then that made the internal, in other words, from here to here, that made it to 39 so I knocked off, like I said, knocked off the four inches. So take that into account. If you go by my exact measurements, take that into account. When you go to cut these side rails, don't cut them at 39. Do 39 and then minus four inches, which would be what, 35? So make these 35 inches and you'll be fine. But 
I believe that's it. But it turned out okay. As you can see, it uh I mean it fits it fits good and snug. So and it actually the mattress, of course we gotta put sheets on it, actually goes pretty good with the stain that my wife picked in. If you're curious on what this stain is, it's made by Men Wax, is I believe it was called the Coastal Gray. And got it from Lowe's. You have to take the can up there and then they put the dye in it and they mix it and do their thing. So it's that that's that I, I like it because it's a little different but we got to paint our walls and get rid of the purple walls next so anyhow and i did put felt because i got floor, hard floors down here i put felt up under every foot so don't scratch a crap out of my floor so with that said that's it thank gosh because i'm tired as you can probably tell and sound of my voice but anyway like i always say thank you guys for watching y'all have a nice day if you got any comments shoot me one i'll try to answer to the best of my ability and like and subscribe if you like the video but anyhow y'all have a good day